Setup for the Texas Book Festival is now underway. That's an event that draws thousands to talk, discuss, and celebrate books. But it's happening in the shadow of the state capitol, where lawmakers made moves to make it easier to ban some books at schools. According to a recent report, there's been a record surge in book challenges, with Texas one of the states leading the way. Our Nabil Morbadma reports. Scenes from Llano County in April. These materials cannot be in that collaborative. It's destroyed nothing. If you don't get to choose who gets to read what? The topic, books, and who can read them. When you have sexually explicit material in an area where a five-year-old can get a hold of it, that's wrong. Those against banning books say being able to pick up a book of your choice is crucial in learning new ideas. Now, there are things that I will never experience, but I can go check out a book and I can walk in somebody else's shoes for a while. Between January 1st and August 31st of this year, the American Library Association reported 695 attempts to censor library materials and services and documented challenges to 1,915 unique titles an increase of 20% from last year. We're ranked number two um, in the country for the number of books and titles that have been challenged. Shirley Robinson with the Texas Library Association says parents have to be involved in the books their children pick to read. And to make sure that the books that their child is bringing home reflect their own family's values. Um, but you don't have that right to make that choice for another family's um, child. The right to read, write, and think freely is the cornerstone of our democracy, so our organization will always champion that right. Hannah Gable is the literary director for the Texas Book Festival. This weekend's festival will feature two authors who have seen their books banned. Books help inform young children as well as adults and provide them with the language they perhaps need to describe experiences that they've been through. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And the Texas Book Festival will be held this weekend in front of the Capitol. You can tune into a panel discussion titled Threats to Freedom of Expression Tomorrow. And for more on the rise in book challenges, we've included a link to that report we talked about in our, on our website under this story.